Some of you pay me a paycheck, I think. <laughs> anyway, hello. Hi. Hi. I, uh, my boyfriend and I just broke up. Aww. Yeah, he cheated on me 15 times. <laughs> After the 15th time, he was like, Mindy, I don't think this is working out. <laughs> I was actually shocked. He gave me no warning. Uh, but I rebounded. I went to the gynecologist the other day. And um, she asked me if I had a steady partner. I was like, yep. Four, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, tomorrow's my mom's birthday, everyone. Yeah, she, um, for her birthday, she wants a husband. For me. <laughs> Yeah, she thinks I'm too picky. I mean, get this, look. All I want is a nice guy between 38 and 42 years old with a full head of hair who makes like $3 million a year after taxes, who loves his mother, but she's dead. <laughs> I don't think that's too picky. Anyway, um, it was actually my birthday about a month ago, and my mother seriously said to me, um, do you want a camera for your birthday or your eggs frozen? <laughs> I went camera, but next year I'm going for the eggs, because that shit is expensive. <laughs> uh, with dating as you get older, it is different. Like, it used to be where I would be with a guy, be like, hey, do you have a condom? I'm like, now I'm like, hey, do you have a vasectomy? <laughs> So, um, speaking of vasectomies, I work in health insurance. Some of you might also. Uh, yeah, health insurance is funny on its own, but we make it even funnier. So the other day I'm in a meeting and we're deciding like what we're going to cover. So we're like, you know, appendectomies, cover, babies, cover, plastic surgery, don't cover. We get to transgender surgery. There is an hour debate about this. An hour fucking debate. I'm sitting there thinking, what the fuck? Like once we start covering gender reassignments, everyone's gonna get it? Yeah, men are gonna line up in front of my company to get their penises cut off. I don't think so. We actually decided uh, to cover it, except for, for in black men because we need all of those that we can get. <laughs> I actually dated an African man once, but he was white, so I got no benefit on that one. <laughs> uh, dating stories, I have so many. Uh, I was dating a guy once who, after a couple days, I'm a good girl, he took me back to his apartment, and it's this huge apartment on the Upper West Side, five bedrooms, two, two floors, right? I noticed though it's curiously decorated in a real 70s fashion, odd, but whatever. We go back to his bedroom and he has bunk beds. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, he lives with his parents, meaning the mother's a lot. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, I, I was fine, I put it out of my head. I got, we started getting a little, you know, amorous. Oh my God. And uh, he's like, hey, do you want to get on top? So I was so excited, I climbed up that mini ladder and got on that top bunk. <laughs> that was not what he meant. But anyway, as I'm lying on that top bunk, I said to him, look, you know, what's the deal? Do you live with your parents? It's okay. He's like, oh, no, 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 my parents um, died. I'm like, really? He's, I was like, oh. He's like, yeah, um, they died 20 years ago, actually. My father stabbed my mother to death in the master bedroom and then went up on the roof and jumped off and oh killed god. himself. I was like, oh my god, and you still live here? He's like, yeah, rent control. <laughs> I stayed with him because um, the apartment was amazing <laughs> and his mother was dead. <laughs> um, yeah. I've also dated an ugly guy um, who was a sweater also. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad on this one, but we would be, you know, having sex and he would be on top and I'd fixate on a drop of sweat on his forehead <laughs> and I would just stare at it and I would try to turn our sex into lovemaking. <laughs> so I would stare at it hoping it wouldn't drop. What was I thinking? <laughs> Did I not 
know what drops were coming at me next? Was sweat kind of the least of my problems? Yeah. Anyway, I um, can cut, I can count the number of partners I've had on one hand though. I just have to use it over and over again. Yeah, anyway, I, um, I recently went on vacation with my parents, which might explain why I'm still single. <laughs> but my parents were so great, right? They were so great growing up. Like, they were always the cool parents that everyone wanted to come, come hang out at our house. Like, they smoked hot. They drank. They watched reel-to-reel -reel porn. Um, so I had absolutely nothing to rebel against. So here's what I did. I waited until I was 25 years old to have sex. I showed them. My parents were begging me to do it. <laughs> when I did do it, I had it on their bed. Yeah, uh, I came home the next day. They were having sex on my bed. So I showed them. Thank you. <laughs>